The Record, 9th of November 2023 Many enslaved Cambodian government organizations are the target of Chinese APT outfits. China is using every weapon at its disposal to fight for control over the countries in its Persian Gulf, having conquered most of Southeast Asia. According to a recent revelation, two well-known Chinese government hacking groups are using cloud backup services to attack at least 24 government organizations in Cambodia. The Palo Alto Network's Unit 42 study first published by the Washington Post on Wednesday, states that the company's researchers assess with high confidence that these Cambodian government entities were targeted and remain compromised by Chinese APT actors but do not identify the APT groups. They clarified, this assessment is due to the infrastructure's ownership and malicious nature combined with persistent connections over several months. China's Ministry of State Security was named by the Washington Post as the source of the activities. The researchers could identify the compromises by tracking telemetry linked to the Chinese APT groups. They did this by identifying inbound connections from a minimum of 24 government agencies in Cambodia. Requests for feedback from a government representative for Cambodia were not answered. Researchers from Palo Alto claimed to have tracked the servers the hacker groups were using and discovered many host subdomains that pose as cloud storage providers. They said that by doing this, the hackers could mask the strange volumes of traffic resulting from data exfiltration. Communications between this infrastructure and Cambodian government institutions were observed in September and October. National Defense, Election Oversight, Human Rights, National Treasury, Finance, Commerce, Politics, Natural Resources, and Telecommunications are among the government departments impacted. These organizations possess vast amounts of confidential government records, citizen data, and sensitive financial information. The researchers concluded that these organizations were probably the targets of ongoing cyber espionage operations that use this infrastructure to get continued access to government networks of interest. According to the researchers, the group's daily labor patterns and other data point to China as their origin. The hackers ceased operations between September 29 and October 8, corresponding to China's Golden Week from September 29 to October 6. On October 9, the activity resumed its regular course. According to the researchers, the campaign aligns with geopolitical goals of the Chinese government as it seeks to leverage their strong relations with Cambodia to project their power and expand their naval operations in the region. It is a long-term espionage activity. For a long time, Cambodia has been one of China's closest allies, frequently provoking the wrath of neighboring Southeast Asian countries by defending Chinese territorial claims in the South China Sea. As one of China's first military outposts outside of Southeast Asia, the contentious Reem naval base will be located in Cambodia, also a significant partner in China's Belt and Road Initiative BRI. Even though the two nations are close, there have been indications of slight deterioration since Hun Sen, the former dictator of Cambodia, gave up power to his son Hun Mane last summer, ending his almost 40-year reign. The Chinese government has been forced to adopt a more aggressive position against cybercrime groups as a result of a new film that highlights the plague of Internet scams supported by human trafficking and infuriated Chinese citizens. These Internet frauds, which primarily prey on China's elderly, are operated out of compounds in Burma and Cambodia. In addition to trying to prevent the movie from being screened, Cambodian authorities have hindered attempts by Thai, Vietnamese, and Chinese law enforcement to break up the con complexes and free the hostages. Chinese APT groups have been conducting espionage operations against enemies and friends in Southeast Asia for many years. The cybersecurity company Mandiant revealed in 2018 that multiple government agencies in Cambodia had their systems compromised by Chinese hackers.